What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I am bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. We are continuing my character build series with another one of my favorite TV characters. And just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Walter White slash Heisenberg character build. And of course, Walter is from the Breaking Bad TV series and one of my favorites because you get to really see the evolution of his character Character as the series goes on. He starts as a high school chemistry teacher with cancer and becomes this ruthless sort of anti-hero who manufactures crystal meth under the name Heisenberg. Now before we begin, I want to point out that this is my interpretation of a Heisenberg build. I'm sure there are plenty of other ideas out there, so if you'd like to share your version of this character, feel free to do so in the comments below. I try to strike a balance between being true to Heisenberg, but also trying to make this build viable, fun, and interesting to play in the game, so I hope you all will enjoy. Just another quick note, I kind of sped through this character creation process, but I think I did a pretty good job with Heisenberg. So if you guys want to see me like actually make a tutorial about how to make a certain character in the future, comment below and maybe we can make that into another sort of series. I think it could be pretty fun. The three traits that I use to kind of create my Heisenberg build are the fact that he's a chemist, of course, that's like the main, you know, premise of the series. So we're going to play on that. And of course, he's very smart. He's got this great superior intellect. And I think that's important for his character. And also he's intimidating. Of course, we know that Heisenberg is Walter White's kind of alter ego. It's his evil side and he gets pretty freaking ruthless. Of course, we all know that say my name uh, scene one of the most famous scenes in this series so I wanted to play on that as well with that being said here's my Heisenberg special stats so we're gonna go with one strength five perception four endurance nine charisma nine intelligence one agility and then one luck and Keep in mind a few things. This is a 30 point build. This includes the one perception from the bobblehead very early in the game. And also I had dumped another point into perception from the special book, which is also at the very start of the game. Of course that can be distributed anywhere else, but really the general plan here with this special is to establish some of the signature perks early, which is what we're about to talk about, and then work into higher tier intelligence and charisma perks. Speaking of which, let's talk about the five signature perks that kind of define this character build. They are chemist, chem resistant, demolition expert, intimidation, and science. And we're gonna take a look at each of these perks one by one in the perk chart. First we have chemist, and this perk is all about affecting how long chems last on you. So of course the first rank is 50% longer, and then the second rank is twice as long, and then you progress all the way to the fourth rank, which will give you pretty much three times longer effect with chems. And I know Heisenberg doesn't take his product you know, after he makes it, but for the sake of the game and for the sake of making a viable build, chems are very, very powerful. And if you invest in chemist, it can be very, very worth your while. So I think chemist is um, a very important perk for this build. The next perk is actually chem resistant, and this is at endurance four. So this is about, of course, not getting addicted by using those chems. And let me tell you guys, this is one of the earlier perks I tell you to get with this build, and it's 50% less likely for the first rank, and then the second rank is all the way at level 22, and that's complete immunity from any chem addiction. And I noticed I didn't get you know, addicted once, and I popped a ton of chems. That's actually what I'm recommending that you guys do with this build, is take chems in combat all the time. You're 50% less likely to get addicted with rank one, but this seems to really, really affect you because again, I didn't get addicted once um, through the first 10 levels of this character. So chem resistant is definitely one of those signature perks. Next is demolition expert. So this is a little weird. You guys might think, you know, why are you um, talking about explosives with Heisenberg? It doesn't make a ton of sense. However, I think it makes a lot of sense because a lot of the, or actually all of the explosives you can craft at the chemistry bench. And this build is centered around chemistry, of course. So at rank one, you're gonna deal 25% more damage and you can craft explosives at stations and then rank two, 50% more damage. And you kind of get this cool arc that you can actually see on the screen, which is really cool. And then 
next rank, 75% more damage, larger explosion area, very helpful, and then finally, double damage with those explosions, and mines and grenades explode for double damage in vats, which is very cool if you shoot them. So that's another signature perk. Next up is Intimidation all the way down at Charisma 10. So you guys know what this does. If you aim at people, you can press a particular button and gain a chance to pacify them if they're below your level. This again is all about Heisenberg, you know, his alter ego, the fact that he's very intimidating. And so I think it's very cool that you're, you're able to do this in the game and it really fits the whole Heisenberg persona. And then finally, our last signature perk is Science. So. This is another thing that kind of incorporates into the chemistry bench. You need some science in order to craft certain things at the chemistry bench. So I thought this would work very nicely. And also I kind of want to incorporate laser weapons into this build a little bit because it's really not a combat focused build. I guess you could say it is a little bit with the explosives, but you know, science kind of gives you that extra dynamic if you want to use laser weapons. And of course it helps out again with the chemistry bench and crafting certain things there. Of course, there's a bunch of extra wiggle room on perks that you want to take. You're not just going to focus on those five. There's so many other perks that could be useful for this build. For example, awareness. This is something I would recommend for any build, but especially for this build, kind of to look at resistances. If you're going to focus on laser weapons, it's nice to know, you know, if a certain enemy is weak to laser weapons or if you should just use explosives. I think this is a useful perk here. Life Giver, another generally useful perk. You get three ranks in the final rank regenerates your health slowly. So if you're going to want to play a Heisenberg based character on survival, I would absolutely, I would make this like a necessity, you know, life giver rank three is fantastic and you get it at level 20, which is relatively early. That's something you want to think about next is scrapper, which as you can tell, I actually took within my first 10 levels. And I think this is just generally useful for getting extra components, you know, from anything that you pick up on the ground. I'm a big fan of Scrapper in general, so that's a useful perk. Next is Robotics Expert, another perk that I took within my first 10 levels. And this isn't exactly Heisenberg. He's not, you know, hacking into robots and doing that sort of thing. But I thought it was a nice utility perk that kind of goes with this uh, general character that we're shooting for. But again, it's not super uh, tied to Heisenberg as a character, but I thought it'd be a fun little utility perk there. Next is Nuclear Physicist, and I think this is more plain on the Heisenberg um, character. He's not a physicist, he's a chemist, but he's really, really smart. So if you wanted to go into this, and obviously you get extra damage with radiation weapons, and then the fusion cores is kind of an added thing. Um, you know, this isn't really a power armor based build, but if you want to be like, yeah, of course Heisenberg would be a nuclear physicist, you can go into that perk. And then Nerd Rage is also another idea. Um, of course, this doesn't fit anything with you know the fiction of Heisenberg whatsoever, but these are just some other extra suggestions that you might wanna take. You're going all the way up to 10 intelligence eventually, so that's something I would uh, you know think about. Think about taking Nerd Rage. I heard it's pretty powerful when it does activate, but of course you don't wanna be below 20% um, health. So anyways, guys, these are all of the perk suggestions that I have for Heisenberg. Now let's look at the perk roadmap, which is kind of my term, my phrase for what perks you'll be taking at certain levels. And this is only for the first 10 levels of the game because I don't want to micromanage you guys too much. I just want to give you a solid foundation to really flesh out your Heisenberg character. At level two, I would start with chemist. Again, this is a chemistry based build, whether you're able to find those chems out in the world or craft them at your chem table, you know, it's all about taking those chems and using them to enhance, you know, talking to people. You know, there are certain chems that help out with that or, you know, in combat. This is not really a combat centric build, but I think it's super important with a Walter White Heisenberg type character. So at level three, I would take chem resistant. Again, this goes hand in hand with chemists and you don't wanna have to be relying on any of the items that, you know, get rid of addiction, you know? At level 22, you wanna take chem resistant rank two because that just gets rid of all possibility of being addicted. You can take chems freely whenever you want and I definitely recommend that you do so. At level four, I would take Demolition Expert. Again, we're kind of, you know, using the fact that the chemistry bench can create explosives to our advantage with this build. And it also gives this build some combat viability. So I would take Demolition Expert 
pretty early. At level five, I would go into charisma training because again, we started this build at only nine charisma and we want to get intimidation at the next level. So I think you should just go ahead and put your point into charisma training. And then at level six, go ahead and grab intimidation. Again, Heisenberg is an intimidating person. You'll be able to aim at enemies and, you know, kind of bend them to your will, which is very powerful feeling. And so take intimidation at level six. Then next level, I would take science. Start building into that science perk because of course you'll need it for certain explosives at the chemistry bench and it's just a useful perk and it kind of fits into the Heisenberg persona. Next, I would take awareness and kind of levels eight through or eight and nine only are kind of up to you guys because we're kind of hitting all the high points. We've already hit all of our signature perks. So this is kind of filler. So at level eight, I took scrapper. Again, you're able to break down weapons and armor into additional components. I think that's just a generally helpful thing to do. And this build actually kind of lends itself to settlement management and general crafting. So that's kind of a useful perk in my opinion. Next, I took robotics expert. Again, this kind of sort of fits into the Heisenberg character. He's a smart guy, but he really doesn't deal with robots, but it's just another utility perk that you can use within the game. And then at level 10, I would absolutely take demolition expert rank two. It's the first signature perk that reaches, you know, rank two at, you know, the lowest level at level 10. So that's definitely something you're gonna wanna go into to increase that combat viability. So this is just kind of the starting point for you guys. You don't have to follow this perk by perk, but again, this is a foundation for your Heisenberg character. In terms of play style, I hope it's pretty obvious what you need to do. Always use chems in combat. I'm saying like, if you're facing more than two enemies, go ahead and pop a psycho, pop a jet. You know, you're not focusing on perception or agility where a lot of the gun based uh, perks are located. We're just not focusing on that because that's not Heisenberg, but you still want to be viable. This game is about killing people, of course. And so you need to use chems in combat, especially when you have chem resistant and chemists going on. Also rely on explosives for like large groups of enemies. Again, if you're facing more than two enemies, I would say that are closely grouped together, I would just say throw a frag grenade, throw a Molotov cocktail. You're gonna be creating those at the chemistry bench. So why not use them? That's kind of the general play style that we're looking at. And unfortunately, there aren't a lot of signature weapons that I would even recommend for this build because it's not really combat based, but I did give you guys some options here to just think about. The first one is the syringer rifle. If you don't know where to get this, very early at Diamond City, the doctor, Dr. Soon or Sun outside can sell it to you for pretty cheap, about 250 caps, depending on your charisma, of course. But you can actually craft ammo for the syringer rifle. You can craft different syringes at the chemistry station and they're okay. I'm not gonna say that this is like the end all be all for this build, but this is something to think about. It kind of plays on the fact that Heisenberg knows a lot about chemistry, um, but this is just probably a decision you wanna make if you wanna role play Heisenberg um, and use a syringer rifle. Um, I wouldn't use it as your primary weapon. It's very hard to use because you have to, again, craft all of the ammo, but that's the syringer rifle. Next is the Righteous Authority, which you get from one of the first brotherhood quests and criticals do double damage and the crit meter fills 15 percent faster with this weapon it's a laser weapon so you can use of course science if you invest in that to make some nice mods for this weapon that's an idea another suggestion is the big boy which is a fat man that shoots an additional projectile it's pretty expensive and sold by a vendor in diamond city but again we're taking explosives we're doing demolition expert and so this is something you want to think about if you want to take down some of the more tougher enemies in the game and then finally i suggest party starter it's a missile launcher that has plus 50 percent damage to humans it's another item that you can just go buy in good neighbor and again this plays off of having demolition expert if you want to you know really maximize that uh, perk of course you can go and get one of these explosive based weapons but like i said before this is a game about killing people you're killing a lot of enemies and so i would just go with the best weapon that you have in your inventory it doesn't really matter again this is not uh, you know a build that's based on any 
one weapon. So if you don't want to go and get one of these unique weapons, you don't have to just use whatever's best. In terms of companions for Heisenberg, it would be great if we had an Aaron Paul type character to bring along. That would be awesome, but we just don't. So here are my recommendations, you know, just for maximizing damage and whatnot. The first one, of course, is Preston Garvey. He's arguably the best companion in the game because he has plus 20% damage and plus 20 damage resistance when you're fighting three or more enemies. That is just crazy good. Unfortunately, Preston is not my favorite character, but he's just got the best companion perk. So Preston's a good guy to bring along. Piper is another option because we have high charisma, so she gets you double XP speech challenges. And also when you're discovering new locations, you'll get double XP with Piper. Another option is Paladin Dance. He's got plus 20% damage to ghouls, super mutants, and synths only, which is pretty solid. That's a lot of the enemies in the game. So he's a good option. And the last one that I recommend is Curie because once per day, she'll heal you for a hundred of your hit points if you fall below 10% health. I think that's kind of nice because we're not a combat centric build again. So that's kind of some extra backup uh, protection plan B. And if you're still thinking, hey, I want to bring a Jesse Pinkman type character along with me, you could take Kate. She's pretty much the female version of Jesse. She's a complete junkie addict. And you could take Kate along if you really wanted to just for role playing reasons. Speaking of role playing, I know you guys probably want your character to look like Heisenberg. In the beginning of the video, I didn't have any glasses or of course the signature hat on. So if you want to kind of mimic this appearance, you can find some eyeglasses right next to the Overseer's Terminal in Vault 111 at the very beginning of the game. It's very easy to uh, get to and that kind of gives you the general Walter White look. But if you do want kind of that fedora that Walter wears, you can get it pretty easily by doing the Diamond City Blues side quest, which is in, of course, Diamond City. And that's a pretty easy way to get uh, a fedora. I really tried hard to find the right hat that looked uh, correct. Unfortunately, this one is a little too big. It doesn't look enough like Heisenberg, but I think it's kind of as close as we're going to get in terms of mimicking his appearance. What I want to know is, are you going to play a Heisenberg build after watching this video? Does this look like something fun, kind of focusing on the chemistry and, of course, the intelligence trees? Let me know what you guys think, and how would you build Heisenberg if you were to do it? I think I did an okay job. Um, of course, he's not a combat-based, you know, television character at all, so it was a little bit difficult. I had to incorporate a few little things with the explosives, but let me know what you guys think and also suggest a new build for me, a next build video. I kind of like to do these things weekly, you know, start out with a project, get a nice amount of, you know, play time with a character and then really kind of hammer down what a certain build would be. Let me know what your suggestions are in the comment section below. All right, guys, today I showed you how to make a Heisenberg build in Fallout 4, and next time we'll cover more Fallout on my channel, so stay tuned for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos, and remember that this is your number one hub for all Fallout 4 content on YouTube. If you learned something new, remember to hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it, and don't forget to subscribe for more unique character builds, unique weapon guides, and general Fallout tips coming very soon. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.